Now, wait a minute. Are you telling me that Jessica controls 25% of Westar stock? That's right. Well, whoever controls that amount of stock has a huge voice in the company. Hell, that person could be the company. <laughs> right again. That person's going to be Clayton soon. He's already gone to court to get power of attorney, and tomorrow he's flying up to see Dusty and explain everything to him. You got a hold of him. Finally. I'll tell him everything tomorrow. I just hope that he'll forgive me for lying to him all these years. Oh, I'm sure he'll understand. You had good reason. Dad! Dad, she said yes! She said yes! <laughs> That's great. I knew she would. Well, is there something wonderful going on around here that I don't know about? What is it? Dad said I could call Mom in England and ask if I could visit her for a couple of weeks. And she said I could. And you were right, Dad. She said I could come, too. See, Bobby, I was thinking, um, you know, after the wedding, maybe you could drop the boys off in London on your way to Paris. Well, I think it's a great idea. I'll tell you what, we'll drop you off in London, spend a few days in Paris, and then we'll spend the rest of the trip with you, okay? Oh, good. It's all settled then. I can't wait to tell Kelly. Hey, where is she? It's not like her to be this late. Uh, she had an appointment at the marriage counselor. I guess the session ran a little longer than usual. He's a monster. He should be locked up. Can you believe him? Hiring a marriage counselor to break up our marriage? If he wanted me out of the house, why didn't he just say so? Well, because he loves playing games with people. And he probably wanted you to think that leaving him was your idea. Well, he's got his wish. You're gone and I'm going. No, don't. You gotta stay there. I can't do that. Well, you have to. Please, just try. Why? Because it's not what he expects. I don't understand. He's gonna find himself with the best son and the best wife he ever had. We're gonna kill him with kindness. Make him think we're sorry for everything. And that we're back on his side. But why? Because sooner or later, he's gonna slip up and stick his neck all the way out. And when that happens, we're gonna chop it off.